This week at the Internet Cafe, home improvement. This is the home and living section on NetGuide, a great place to start your search for online advice. Meet Candy Strecker. She's a handy girl, one of six women who offer home repair advice at tripod.com. If you're looking for a reliable contractor to do the work, this is the site for you. It's called ImproveNet. Before you can improve your house, you've got to buy one. Meet Nancy Duff. She's one of the most famous online real estate agents. And we'll show you HomeCentral.com, Java, and Shockwave to help you do it yourself. Plus, Larry Maga tells us if it's safe to order building supplies online. Home Improvement, this week at the Internet Cafe. The Internet Cafe is brought to you by Z-Auction, the live online shopping experience. Additional funding from PC Connection and Mac Connection, the catalog and online superstore with PC and Mac products, toll-free technical support, and overnight delivery. And by Windows Magazine, delivering desktop, enterprise, and internet computing news, reviews, features, and how-tos for a Windows world, because the world runs on Windows. Additional funding from SoftSource Incorporated, publishers of Pro One Software, educational software for young adults. So anybody own a house here and get into a lot of home? Okay. Yeah, I'm renovating so right now. a house, right? I did a so partial remodel, whole, and now I've got some big did projects. Did you ever go online to get some help? Um, I, I did a little bit, but not that much. But my husband did in the yeah. midst of some problems that we were having, and he got solutions you and your to it. Having problems? No, that, the no, house. No, no, with, with the house. With the garden. With the garden. <laughs> right. It was a garden thing. Yeah. And did yeah. you, did he get help? Yeah. <laughs> he needed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what no, he did. What about you, Andrew? You know what kind of home improvement I like? What? I like when you dial the phone, you <laughs> call your landlord, and you say, hey, my yeah. sink is clogged. Yeah. No, but I, I'm good, probably going to pass into that right of adulthood soon. Yeah, and right, I right. do see a lot of interesting information there. Well, there's obviously a lot of interest in it, as I said, with all the yeah. TV shows that tell you how to fix your house exactly. and millions of books. So it's a logical thing to use the web for that, too, and we'll find out how good it is. Jessica, we're back again. Last time you and I were chatting, we were talking about shopping online, and now it's home improvements. Now, netguide.com, it's, it's the basic one-stop shop to find anything you need and the guide to the Internet. Guide to how to do more on the net. So it's not just about what sites are out there, but how you can use the net to be more productive in your life, which makes it especially, especially appropriate when we're talking about home improvement. You got it. So help me out here. I'm starting a new project. Where do I go? What do I do? Well, first of all, you can go to NetGuide's website, www.netguide.com, to the living section. And in the home section of the living section, there's a whole bunch of resources there about how to decorate your home online. Do it yourself. Decorate your home and hire a contractor to help you out. So you can start off there. A ton of links, lots of great resources there um, that we've sifted through and shown you how to use the net to do home improvement. Okay, now hiring a contractor, there is a science to it. I'm sure of it because I've, we've had a few ourselves and some of the experiences were good, some mm -hmm. not so good. What are some tips that I can get at the website? Well, first of all, there are databases online of contractors, so you can actually go online and search and find contractors, put bids in on the web, and go through that whole process and start it. Again, 24 hours a day online, you can start that process online. Then when you're hiring a contract, there's a whole bunch of information you need to know about. I mean, it's a very stressful time, a lot of pressure, a lot of money going into these oh, decisions, lots of absolutely. decisions to make, and the web offers a lot of different resources online for you to use, such as sample contracts. So you can download a contract, make sure you've got all the information in there. Um, Better Business Bureau Online gives a ton of information about how to check references, what kinds of information you should ask the contractor when you bring them in. Um, also, how to um, use the web and call the, better, better, the local Better Business Bureau to make sure that they're, they're, on, the up they're on the up and up. You don't right. want to hire someone that's not, again, just because their name is online or because their name's in the yellow pages doesn't mean that they're a legitimate Okay, so the next step, I've got my contractor, or let's say I've figured out the job that I want to do. How do I make the decision on whether I actually hire a contractor or I want to do it myself? Well, there are actually websites that you can actually go to, type in what task you want to accomplish, what the job is you want to do, and it will give you a, um, back a result that compares what it would cost you to do it yourself versus what it would cost you to hire a contractor, both in dollars as well as in hours and time. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, and if you decide to go with, you know what, I don't have the, the six hours I'm going to need to do it myself, I'd rather hire the contractor, I could shave off some dollars if I do this piece of it, this portion of it by myself. And then again, making sure that the contractor is doing things on the up and up in the right way, right. 
information right there that says make sure they're using latex covering instead of, you know, what, what have you. So, and you know, the one thing about the web is I'm, I'm at home and I'm doing the job and all of a sudden I go, oh, I've got this widget with this and I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I mean, that's another big thing about the web. You can go online and... And you're home. I mean, you have to go to Home Depot, you have to go to the store to do it. When right. your problems are happening at home, you can access the web from your home, all at your fingertips. So it's right there. It's really useful. And you have tons of experts that are online. Um, both pe people that are do-it-yourselfers at sites like fixerupper.com. You can... Other do-it-yourselfers are there talking, conversing, sharing, sharing tips and tricks, as well as, as real experts um, you know, from, from the outside, from the real world that are there posting So like this old house, for example, you mm -hmm. can go and get the... Bob Vila, you got him right there. Martha Stewart. Uh, Martha. Uh, yes. Now that's the next topic. Right. I finished my job. I get it all done. Mm -hmm. Now I want to make it look beautiful. Uh -huh. Now I can go online and get yeah. decorating tips. Sure, I can get a ton of decorating tips, how to paint your home, wallpaper your home. HomeCentral.com, a ton of great information there. Um, about decorating your home. Martha Stewart has a website. A lot, of, it, a lot of the same content from her Living magazine up there online, but again, it's easier to access, searchable, browsable, at your fingertips. You know, you can go through and sort by now, category. What about friends who need therapy for Martha? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we hate Martha Stewart sites? Um, tips to, to how to diagnose your friends that you think are suffering from a little overzealousness in the, in the Martha Stewart category, and some advice on how to handle those kind of people. Tie them up with one of the uh, one of the uh, great things you can do. Yeah. That's great. Netguide.com. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. For URLs of today's featured websites, check out the Internet Cafe site at cmptv.com. All right, Bob, you developed and invented, I guess, this ImproveNet.com site. Yes. Uh, and I liked it when I looked at it because if anybody owns a home and has been through trying to get a contractor, you know what a nightmare it is. You're worried about, you know, is the guy any good? Will he show up on time? Will he show up at all? Will he charge you more than he said he would, et cetera? You're addressing those problems. Why did you think the net was the place to do this? Well, the, uh, the internet is a place that we can uh, reach large numbers of people quickly. Uh, we wanted to provide a free service, and uh, the internet was perfect. I'd been in the software field, CD-ROM software. This was a natural extension to what I'd done before. And you knew what you were talking about, too. You would work with architects and designers in your past life, too. Absolutely. I spent 20 years trying to hire uh, good contractors so you know and good artists. Like. Absolutely. Now, how does it work, though? If I go to your site, I go to ImproveNet, and I'm looking for a contractor, yes. how do I know the guy you're going to recommend is better than some guy I get from the Yellow Pages? Well, we spent a year uh, uh, really dealing with how do we uh, put information together and explore the backgrounds of contractors around the country. And so we develop ways to look at their legal history, if they've been sued, mm -hmm. uh, their license history, recommendations from architects that we've uh, compiled. And uh, so we've taken uh, uh, the best information that's available, combined it, uh, that allows us to screen virtually every contractor in the country. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you check these guys out. It's absolutely. not anybody pays, gets on, and it's... No, 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 it's absolutely like... not. No, it's a, it's, you, you can't pay to get into the system. Uh -huh. So we'll connect you up with only the best people, and as I said, we do it freely. Uh, and for larger projects, we'll actually contact those contractors for you. And uh, because that's, that's tough. What sure. you normally find is the good people are uh, not busy. available. They're busy. Yeah. So we make the contact. And the bad find ones out. don't show up when they say they're going to be there. That's exactly. You don't want to be dealing with them at all. <laughs> right. So we'll give you a list uh, uh, of people who are interested in your particular job. Let's talk about some of the other aspects of the site on ImproveNet, which I really like is that whole design section. Yes. You can actually go on there and sort of figure out what you want and what you want your new kitchen or bathroom to look like. How does that work? Well, what we've done is that we've gone to leading architects in the country and gotten their best design ideas, and we've, we've broken those down in all segments of the house, so indoors and outside, kitchens, baths, whatever. We put it in a visual gallery, and there are 1,300 design images, all easy, easily accessible. And you can go and kind of clip and cut and paste and store in your own personalized file. We mm -hmm. call it an idea file. So it's turned out to be a very handy, easy way for people to get access to the best design information that's available. It would be like having years of magazines uh, yeah. uh, at your fingertips. Once you build up that profile, can you actually ship that then to a contractor or an architect and say, this is the sort of stuff I like? Well, what we, what we suggest people uh, do is to, is to store these in their own file mm -hmm. and then print out for the designer or the contractor the ideas uh, that they can then look at and provide prices on. Now you've got a product section on your website. Can I actually go looking for who the suppliers uh, are of the bathroom fixtures I want or whatever? We've taken uh, virtually every manufacturer and supplier of 
home improvement product material. Again, in all the different product categories, 64 different product so categories. So the catalogs are kind of and online. those are all available. Can I buy it online or just get the reference? It's just the, it's the reference. Uh, we hook up to the websites, okay. the supplier websites, so you can get their online catalogs. That's freely ab available as well. So hopefully, as a consumer, I then have a lot more knowledge to deal with that architect, that contractor, and I can't get bamboozled quite so easily. Well, that's the whole idea. We're trying to put in the hands of the consumer information you could never get before. You'd yeah. have to drive all over town, make phone really? calls. And uh, so, so we found it to be pretty useful. And uh, in fact, what we've become is the largest supplier right. of uh, contractors and designers in the country. It's a great site, Bob. Thank you. Thank you very much. For URLs of today's featured websites, check out the Internet Cafe site at cmptv.com. Kelly, we're talking about home improvement, and we've got the Bob Vila's on TV and the Martha Stewart's, and I want to go online. I'm, I'm thinking of buying a house, and I hear you have a good resource for, for some tips. We do. We have some excellent how-tos on our homecentral.com home site. Home Central, mm -hmm. okay. And you can type in and find out all kinds of ways to fix your plumbing or or fix your roofing or anything like that. So do, this will do it yourself kind of stuff. It is. This is, it is. get down and, and get dirty. Get dirty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, are you finding that people are really like successful at doing this? I mean, if you give someone an outline of how to, you know, clean out their garbage disposal and reconnect yeah. it, that people can actually do it online or. Um, we found that it's a very useful tool for people mm -hmm. to do that. Um, it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper than calling up a plumber in the middle of the night and paying their fees. So, definitely, um, definitely. It's excellent. It, a lot of people have been using it and we've gotten a lot of good feedback. Really? How many that. people do you think on, on average are coming to a site like this? That's a very good question. It changes every day. Thousands. I can't really answer. Thousands. I'm assuming. Easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, gardening.com uh -huh. is, uh, I guess, taking another twist on mm -hmm. the whole uh, home improvement theme. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like you've got some sort of interesting metrics you can set up on the site, and why don't you tell me about that? Well, we have a, a calculator where you can type in um, yards or inches or feet, and it'll calculate for you oh, different, different very measurements. Handy. Yeah, very so handy. So you don't have to be math savvy at all. No, you can convert don't metrics. have to find your calculator. Okay. It's all there for you. Okay, that's very good. Now, mm -hmm. what if I say I lived in California versus someone who lived in uh, New York and, uh -huh. and it was different seasons. I wanted to know what to plant in my garden. What mm -hmm. could I do to, to help myself with that? Sure. Well, we have a plant encyclopedia and you can, you can type in what region you live in and type in some other attributes of what you'd like those plants to be and it'll give you a good guide on what to get. Uh, it also has full illustrated pictures of, of some nice plants that you can use in your garden. So, so it really uh, helps plan it. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a database of information that's just online. Now, how do you mm -hmm. guys do that? I mean, is this, uh, is this uh, uh, just a free service you're providing to, to people on the web, or is there well, is. some it, kind of incentive uh, involved? Well, there's not really an incentive. People, uh, people really come to our sites as part of a community. Um, oftentimes, people have used some of our tools, such as our our home and garden products okay. and then come so you to have our a, site. A, a CD ROM product or a um, we do have a home product and also a gardening product. Okay. Um, right. Complete Land Designer and also okay. Sierra Home, Complete Home. Right. And those are excellent products if right. you want to jump in and, and do your gardening and mm -hmm. do your home design. It's mm -hmm. a real excellent tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you've created these sites to sort of extend that or, or create a, I guess, a community around right. your your, your product. So mm -hmm. are people able to interact and share some of their tips? Uh, or is that uh, they certainly are. We have some very active message boards and in the future we'll be developing some online chat as well. So people can go in and say, well, gee, I don't know how to, what kind of perennial would be best for right. me? And, and people can answer right away. And, and it's very it. exciting. So you can be your own Bob Vila or, right, or Martha exactly. Stewart if you wanted exactly, to. Exactly, on your own time. Okay, good. Now, yeah. speaking of that, um, is there a, not, a, a move to maybe create some other home interest type sites, uh, you know, I don't know whether it's cooking mm -hmm. or uh, my favorite subject, cleaning. Uh, cleaning. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the cleaning site. Um, we do have, Sierra, Sierra does have a, a line of home productivity products. Okay. Um, so we have the Master Cook suite of products. We mm -hmm. also have um, Collier's Encyclopedia oh, okay. um, and a whole bunch of other different So I can go on there and find things to, to, to cook for dinner as well? You can. And, and, okay. Now, yeah. if I could just get someone to actually come and do yeah, the cooking that's, for me, then You could I'd... probably find someone on, on the internet <laughs> to do that for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're with Larry Maggot again from the LA Times and Home PC Magazine. Larry, we're talking about home improvement and sort of buying things online, possibly services or finding things online. I wanted to ask you about this general idea of shopping online. Mm -hmm. Some people are very nervous about it, especially when it says enter your credit card number. What do you think about buying stuff online? Is it safe these days? I think it's safer to buy things online with a credit card than it is to go to a store. Or on the telephone. Or on the post. telephone. <laughs> In fact, if somebody wants to steal your credit card, it's much easier for them to steal your wallet or break into your house than it is to hack into your, your online system. So 
I'm not worried about it. And in, and in fact, if there is a loss, it's the bank's problem, not the consumer's. Okay. What about the deals? I mean, there's these auction places and other places. You think you get bargains online, or is it the convenience? Why should you do you it? You actually do. I mean, the, the airlines, for example, you can save a tremendous amount on airfare, and the bargain and the auction houses, because they can actually take advantage of this sort of instant uh, dynamic pricing mm -hmm. that you couldn't do in, in a non-online environment. So there are bargains, and there are also rip-offs, and, and most <laughs> things are cost about what they're worth. And, you know, it's, again, it's caveat emptor like anything yeah. else. If people get nervous because there's no place. I mean, suppose you get something or they never send you what you bought or it's lousy. You don't know where to go. Uh, is it any different than mail order or QVC? Just like mail order, you should always deal with merchants that you trust, that, that publish their street address, not just the P.O. box, yeah. a telephone number so you can call it for verification. Uh, if, the, if you know the merchant's name, then you're going to feel a little more comfortable with. There are sleaze bags online, just as like there's sleaze bags on Main Street. And right. You've got to watch for them. For URLs of today's featured websites, check out the Internet Cafe site at cmptv.com. Well, all this home improvement stuff is well and good, but before you get to the improvement, you've got to get the home. Well, you can do that online, too. We're going to talk to Nancy Duff over here. And Nancy, you run planetproperties.com. That's correct. And I can see buying maybe a computer online or a car, but to actually buy a house online, that seems awfully risky, doesn't it? Well, you don't necessarily buy the house online, but you can find the house online through the MLS. And the MLS is? The Multiple Listing Service, and that's a feature on my website. You get emails daily that update you as new houses come on the market. All right, so instead of carrying around that thick book, which is usually right. two months old, I can go to your website and actually look at current listings of all the properties available in your area, which is Berkeley or the East Bay here? Correct. That's correct. And it's really, and you get a color printout, whatever you want, all the information about it. Or right, let's talk about that section of your website, because I found that kind of interesting. I can go in there and actually set up the parameters for the house I'm looking for, uh, how much I want to spend, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, that kind of stuff. And it'll actually do an intelligent search of that whole MLS database and tell me what meets my standards. Exactly, and what's available now. And they're real current. They're updated daily. So. All right. Now, you also have a section for buyers. You have a section for sellers. What, what goes on in each of those areas of the website? Well, the buyers are more for the search, you know, to look at the MLS and to calculate their mortgage and do referrals for professionals they might need, like a mm -hmm. loan broker, that kind of thing. The sellers, you feature their properties on the web, and you show them what the web can do. I just put one on yesterday. By yesterday evening, it sold for 23000 over asking in one day. What a great business you're in, huh? It's a great 23, business. 23000 over the asking price. Right. Three offers in one day. Because it was up on the web, partly, and everybody right. saw the property. And everybody saw it. Now, a lot of people are doing this. There's some other websites out there that are the real estate agencies run. Do you think they're pretty good, or how is yours different? I think they're, I think they're mixed. You know, I think many of them try to put on too much information. Mm -hmm. Mine's, uh, I try to keep it really user-friendly, easy to move around, and offer a lot of good options that people can use. You're really offering a matchmaking. It's like the dating stuff, right? Exactly. You've got buyers, your sellers, they yeah. all want to meet the right place exactly. at the right time. And that's, that's what the web is for. Right, right. And this is a perfect use for it. All right, and you said there's a mortgage calculator. I can actually go in there and say if the house is 300000 bucks, my monthly payments would be if the interest rate That's right, is. exactly. You put in the number of years you want the mortgage, and that's it. It'll print it out for you. Now, Nancy, you're kind of a character. You're sort of famous already online. I mean, there are people like writing tributes to you on the well there. How did this all happen? How are you a celebrity as a real estate agent online? Well, it just sort of happened around me. I, I wasn't planning it. I have a lot of clients on the well, and pretty soon I became known as the realtor to the well. Every single transaction was discussed online mm. in all of its detail by the different people on the well. So pretty soon this happened, and then one of them started this topic in yeah. the Berkeley conference called the Cult of Nancy Duff. Now, the other thing you have on your site, which is kind of cool, is if you want to know what would it be like to live in Berkeley, right? And you can find out sort of the feeling of the lifestyle yes, there. Yes, I've got a... You even I've, have a live cam, I think, Yeah, right? I've got a live cam over the Golden Gate Bridge, yeah. and we've got where you can look up anything in Berkeley, restaurants, uh, theater, events going on, the weather, anything you want to know so about the Berkeley. the cool thing is, even if I'm in New York and I'm thinking of moving to the Bay Area, I can now find what the listings are in Berkeley and then just send you an email or something? That's right. And I'll, I'll be happy to show them to you when you get out here or send you a videotape of them, uh -huh. whatever you want. Now, now, speaking of that, I mean, you're going to get into like the 3D virtual tours of the homes online? Yes, I am. I just got done buying a brand new camera to do that, a digital camera, and that's my next project to do that. Yeah, yeah, now you said, and, go and ahead. There, and, well, and also there is a service now for 
you know, you can pay somebody and they'll go do it for you, too. Uh -huh. That's a new thing just starting. In real briefly, there's that statue at the head on your home page. What, what's the deal there? It doesn't look like a real estate page. No, it isn't. It isn't. It's, it's, it's the goddess, and I figure the goddess doesn't get enough air time. <laughs> So I thought I'd Nancy's put that touch. up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's planetproperties.com. That's right. Lot. Thanks, Stu. For URLs of today's featured websites, check out the Internet Cafe site at cmptv.com. So, Candy, you're a writer at tripod.com. Tell me a little bit about Tripod. Well, Tripod is an online community, and it's also a really useful information resource. Um, there are about a million Tripod members out there right now. and. Uh, one of the benefits of being a member is you get access to a lot of different information. Tripod is especially geared to people in their 20s and 30s who are dealing with a lot of firsts in their life, whether it's their first job, their first car, their first home, or maybe the first time their pipes break in their house. Speaking of pipes breaking in the house, now one of your pet projects is the Handy Girls mm -hmm. area. Now that's an advice column. What kind of things do you, uh, do you cover there? Well, there are six of us handy girls, and we field questions that we get from Tripod members about just about anything that can go wrong in the household, whether it's your house or an apartment, incidentally, you know, all different kinds of residential situations people might have. Um, there are a bunch of categories, electrical, painting, Hand, carpentry work, those carpentry. types of things. Mm -hmm. So now, now what exactly is your specialty at the site? For some reason I have become the, the uh, handy girl stain queen. I've uh -huh. gotten a whole string of questions on getting stains out of carpets and floors particularly. It's just, just the luck of the draw of the so, questions So let I've me gotten. ask you a question because I just found a stain on my hardwood floor and mm -hmm. it's, it's candle wax and it's dark red candle wax. You can give it a shot. You may be able to get it out. Okay. There are chemicals out there. There's some little tricks where you put uh, put an ice bag on top of it to harden it off. An ice bag? Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's assuming that the candle just, just melted. It helps you scrape it off. Yeah, it, it, it helps fresh. get into a nice lump where you can chunk it off and then you can apply a little chemicals to the residue that's left. So you're the stain meister, as it were. So far. So what is, wh who, are all, who are all these handy girls? We're candy? basically just real, we're just real life people, um, homeowners, I guess. I don't know if we're homeowners, I'm sorry. Um, we're just real life people who have dealt with different household pro problems before. Uh, there are six of us. We're scattered around the country. Our, our editor at Tripods throws out questions to us and we seize on the ones that we think we can handle best. And it's worked out pretty well. We seem to have a nice pool of expertise among the six of us. Now how come they're all girls? Uh, that was just Tripods idea. I guess uh, if girls can handle it, anybody can handle it. Ooh. Just a way of making <laughs> the answers be real friendly and making people feel like they can do it too. Now, wasn't there a section called Your Mother Knows or something like that? What's that about? Yeah, besides obvious categories like carpentry and plumbing, there's a little category called Things Your Mother Knows and things you may not have bothered to learn from your mother until you had to deal with it. Um, they had a question there, what do you do about mice? What mm. is the real way to get rid of mice? And there was a great little essay there that one of the gals wrote saying, well, you can try traps, you can try being nice, but basically you've got to get the poison in the end if you want to get rid of them. Bottom line, you've got to bring in the big step. <laughs> right. So now what other things are at Tripod? You mentioned that it's really a place for first people experiencing that. What would be some other things mm -hmm. that go on there? Uh, job information, work, workplace information, dealing with situations at work, dealing with your investments, uh, dealing with your health. They have an Ask the Doctor type column. And I think uh, also some holistic and non-traditional medicine advice also on there. There's home life type questions, decorating, cooking. And there's also a things. lot of chat there as well. It's a big chat site. Plenty of chats. Tripod has what they call pods, which are little interest groups. And if you're a Tripod member, you can get in and hang out with people who are interested in, could be science fiction, could be religion, could be arts and crafts, just tons of pods. It's a real fun little aspect. That's great. Now, recently, Tripod, tripod was purchased by Lycos, so if you mm -hmm. want to find Tripod, you can go to the Lycos website or Definitely. Tripod to get to Lycos. Or vice versa. That's mm -hmm. great, Katie. Thanks. Well, Andrew, you're going to go out and buy a house now that you know where to go on the web to fix it and renovate it and all that, like she did? Actually, I'm kind of scared now, because I went in and I saw all these things that can go wrong, and I don't know if I really want to do it. But, no, it looked very helpful. I, you know, I looked in this one side of uh, Home Central, and just to see the, the, uh, where you could find t stuff about plumbers and, and you, you know, it. you yeah. name it, it's... Yeah. it's yeah, I was overwhelmed, okay? I admit it. <laughs> overwhelmed? Yeah. You want to go buy that house? Yeah. Oh. All right, now, you're the home renovator. Did I you find it. some cool... Well, you had some oh, interesting it, people you found. Well, I, you know, the big thing was the, the netguide.com, yeah. which was awesome. Honestly, their links to all of the different things that you can do were great. Myself, I'm a bit of a do-it-yourselfer, and then there's mm -hmm. a point at which 
I'm not sure if I should do it myself or go the other way. Right. Lots of different things that you can do to check it out and even be in the midst of a project and go, oops, I did right. something wrong and now I can get the answers halfway well, through. I, I loved ImproveNet.com, which is a site I looked at. Kind of, you talked about it, Net guy. I mean, there's so much stuff there. If you've been through this, as I'm sure you have, trying yep. to find a contractor, oh, knowing somebody you can trust, it is a nightmare. This is a great matchmaking service once again on the web, so I kind of like it. Anyhow, that's it for tonight at CyberSmith. We'll see you here next week at the Internet Cafe. The Internet Cafe is brought to you by Z Auction, the live online shopping experience. Additional funding from PC Connection and Mac Connection, the catalog and online superstore with PC and Mac products, toll-free technical support, and overnight delivery. And by Windows Magazine, delivering desktop, enterprise, and internet computing news, reviews, features, and how-tos for a Windows world, because the world runs on Windows. Additional funding from SoftSource Incorporated, publishers of Pro One Software, educational software for young adults. To purchase a videotape copy of today's program, call toll-free 1-888-310-7850. Please specify the show number and the topic.